Hello everyone, my name is Anara Sandegulova and I would like to present to you our work titled Koraiti in Kazakh, Learning a New Script with a Robot. This work was conducted at Nazarbayev University in collaboration with EPFL and my co-authors are Wafa Juhal, Janel Jeksinova, Bulat Lyubayev, Aida Janatkhaza, Aizada Turarova, Jan Saulia Tilishova, Anna Kochen-Miller, Tibo Aiselborn and Pierre Dillenburg. Motivation behind our work is the recent decision of Kazakhstan authorities to transition from Cyrillic to Latin alphabet, which is a risky endeavor and raises many unique challenges and research questions. Considering the need for the current generation of primary school children to be fluent in both scripts, since these children will be at the stage of the transition, this project aims to assist children via human-robot interaction in learning a new script and its associated handwriting. The Koraiti in Kazakh HRI system is an extension of the existing Koraita project that was developed at the Chile Lab in EPFL in 2014. The system aims to implement an autonomous social robot that would assist children in transition from the old Cyrillic alphabet to a new Latin alphabet. We adapted original Koraita to Kazakh language and also added optical character recognition for automatic conversion of children's handwriting. I would like to show you a demo of the system. Hello, I am a robot. My name is Mimi. I study Kazakh language. Can you help me? How do you say girl in Kazakh? How to write it? As can be seen from the demo, the system integrates optical character recognition to recognize Kazakh handwritten letters in order to automatically convert them to Latin-based Kazakh language. So as you can see, the robot is writing the Latin-based okay. Kazakh. So the, this handwriting recognition was trained on over 120,000 samples of the Cyrillic MNIST dataset which we collected for the first time for the Cyrillic-based languages. The Wacom tablet serves as the second monitor here. Its, its pen has pressure sensitivity and tilt recognition. This allows us to acquire the trajectory of handwriting. A humanoid robot now is integrated with the tablet using ROS and now a key API. We have developed two hypotheses. The first hypothesis is that the co-writing Kazakh learning scenario will result in significant improvement in the number of learned letters, which will serve as a check that the provided intervention results in learning a new script. And the second hypothesis is that it's more effective for the child to perform conversion of Kazakh words mentally and then observe correctly written Latin spelling by the robot. And therefore, we developed two experimental conditions. The first condition is Cyrillic to Latin demonstration, and the second condition is Latin to Latin demonstration. In the first condition, it's exactly the same as it was in the demo video. The child hears the robot um, ask for the word, and then she writes it in Cyrillic. Then the robot performs the script conversion by writing the same word using the Latin-based Kazakh alphabet. In Latin to Latin condition, the child hears the word to be written and has to write it directly in Latin. Then the robot writes the word in Latin as a corrective feedback. In this condition, the child needs to perform mentally the script conversion. In this scenario, the now, the now robot plays a role of a peer. The robot is introduced to a child as a native English speaker of approximately his or her age who wants to learn Kazakh. The difference between conditions is only in wording when the robot asks the child for help to demonstrate how to write Kazakh words using the new Latin alphabet, because this is convenient for the robot to read. And that's the motivation behind um, childs uh, um, trying her best to write in Latin alphabet. We verified with children's English teacher that the level of English understanding fits the vocabulary used by the robot. The methodology of the experiment was designed and then verified in the prior work with 48 children published in Roman 2019. 
This work was designed as a direct reproduction of the study, where the only difference between the two studies was in the way the pre-test and the post-test were performed. In the pre-test of the Roman study, there was a potential confounding factor, because children made mistakes in the pre-test and they were showing the correct answers by the researcher. And we believe that it provided the means of learning these letters from the pre-test. This time, we conducted the study with 67 children, where all participants were assigned to a condition in a between-subject design, with a conversion type as a between-subject variable. Each child interacted with a robot for approximately 20 minutes. Half of the children interacted with the Latin-to-Latin robot condition, while the other half interacted with the Cyrillic-to-Latin condition. We also had ethical approval by the Nazarbayev University IREC committee. From the analysis of the results, we can conclude that the hypothesis 1 is supported, confirming, confirming the intervention with the system had a positive effect on the children's performance in the pre- and post-tests at a highly significant level. Then we calculated learned letters as a pre- and post-test difference. Uh, and we found that the average number of learned letters was 4.35 out of 42 letters. Then we looked at, um, at the hypothesis 2 and we can conclude that the hypothesis 2 is rejected since learning gains were not affected by the robot condition. We also didn't find any significant gender differences. Uh, boys learned approximately the same number of letters as the girls did. However, we found a statistically significant interaction between the effects of gender and robot condition. As can be seen from the graph, boys learned more in Cyrillic to Latin condition, almost 5 letters in comparison to 3.59 letters on average, while girls learned more in Latin to Latin condition, almost twice more letters in Latin to Latin condition. And indeed, when we looked at separate one-way and over tests for each uh, gender group, we found that girls had a significant difference um, in between robot conditions in comparison to boys who only had who didn't have significant difference, even though the difference was quite uh, still quite big. Then we looked at the in results of robot perception and facial expression analysis. We found that girls expressed happiness was significantly higher than boys expressed happiness. Um, then we also found that when children were asked how easy it was for them to learn from the robot, the rating of uh, Cyrillic to Latin case was uh, significantly easier rated in comparison to Latin to Latin case. So all participants were from the same school, so we cannot generalize and we confidently say that the same result will be valid in other schools in Kazakhstan. Uh, hypothesis 1 is supported, hypothesis 2 is rejected. However, we found interest in gender and robot condition effect. Um, it can be explained by the referring to the literature on gender studies, which often show that girls outperform boys in languages. Please refer to our paper for a more thorough explanation of, of, about this effect. Um, um, children, um, in terms of task difficulty, it was an interesting um, difference that children uh, rated Latin to Latin condition as significantly harder than Cyrillic to Latin case, which raises a trade-off debate whether it's worth making children work harder and perform mental conversion themselves when a learning gain for children is not significantly different from the easier condition. Also, the experiment has raised a number of questions and further work is needed in several directions to determine the best scenario and the best strategy for learning a new script. Future work will involve acceptability-usability studies to determine if the robot is indeed an engaging peer learner. Also, in future work will compare our systems with classical approaches, pen and paper, tablet owner, only teacher and others. I would like to acknowledge our funding sources. Thank you so much for your attention. Please email me for any questions.